There we go. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Look, there's Nick. He's hiding out from the rain. It's pouring. Pouring. It's really pouring out here. If you guys could not see that, look at the look at the raindrops on the ground. Anyway, today we're at Sunshine State RV. We are going to look at the. Um, this is the American, um, Coach. Amer American Coach. Patriot, Patriot, MD4, MD4, uh, 4x4, 4x4 with Eco the complete, freedom. yeah, the rain's coming in here now, yeah, with the, it's got the roof rack, so it's eco freedom, overland, the whole package, this is the full beast, I think we did the shorter one yes. version of this, yes. the shorter diesel version, so we're going to get into this right now, as much as we can in all this weather, I hope you guys enjoy it, let's do it. stop us from showing the Stranger Palooza watchers a beautiful RV yeah. like this. Monsoon weather. This is monsoon. When you are in Gainesville, Florida, they say if you don't like the weather in Gainesville, just wait till tomorrow. It'll be totally different. Oh, yeah. We do have the largest selection of Class B RVs all in one location right here in Gainesville. Yeah. They're everywhere, all around us, behind us, next to us, on top of us. Everywhere yeah. you look, we have Class B RVs. So, pretty cool. I was real excited. By the time we finish this video, the weather is going to be different. I guarantee it will. Yeah. Guarantee it will. Right. So tell us tell us about the outside so, of this. What did you decide? So as soon as I got this in, I, I took my phone out, took a picture of it, I sent it to Hank. I said, dude, you got to come do a video on this RV. This is the beast. I mean, this is the Overland Luxury 4x4 RV. has everything you need to go off-road. It's jacked up, big wheels, roof racks, ladders, and then it also has the eco freedom, the luxury that American Coach, I mean, American Coach makes million dollar class BRVs, and you can tell by looking inside of this thing. But by looking on the outside, you look like you got a, a, a crawler, one of those things that can crawl up the side of a mountain. So, really, really neat yeah. RV. So, it's a 2022, just came out. Eco Freedom, American Coach Patriot, wow. MD4 4x4. Um, the 4x4, you can always tell by looking, it does have that extra space. So this has the black wheels, it gives it that tough look. Right. It does have the Mercedes wheels still, they are black. Okay. It has the beat up Goodrich tire, so a little all-terrain action going on there. Right. So when you're crawling up the side of a mountain, you got the tires to take you, you got, there, right? Yeah, you got the tires, you have the grip. So these, this is like an all-terrain tire. I'm yes, this is a BF Goodrich all-terrain tire. Okay. Typically, they come with a uh, like a Continental uh, radial, like a highway, all-weather all highway yeah. type tire. This is an all-terrain. Yeah. Very comfortable ride still. These are great tires, but this is an upgrade. Everything on this coach is an upgrade. I mean, yeah. it is, it's insane. So you can always tell you got a little extra space here, yep. uh, road clearance. If you look at something like your RV, even though yours yeah. is all-wheel drive, you have, have some, you have some clearance. This one here is going to give this you a lot more. Yeah. It, it sits way taller. Yeah. Something else pretty cool about the Patriots, they offer a four camera security system. So you can watch these four cameras while you're driving down the road all the time. They yeah. can always be on while you're sleeping. In the back, you can look up. That screen is there showing you the, the back, the front, and both sides of your coach all the way around it. Yeah. So a lot of ways, so the reason why I would be interested in this, and I think knew, uh, Nick knew that, even at the factory, I was very interested in these kinds. We looked at yeah. the shorter one. But this is really like an overland, uh, yeah. luxury overland beast luxury overland that we're beast. looking at. Yeah, I didn't so, want to coin that phrase. Right. <laughs> you, I'm going to tell Ron at the factory yeah. to only oh make the luxury overland <laughs> beast yeah. for Sunshine State I want, RVs. Uh, I want residuals. <laughs> That's all I care about. But the thing is, is with that camera system, you can really see around you, you if you're going uh, if you're going off road somewhere yeah. to make sure that you're not hitting anything, right? Are you a van of sewer? Yes. Did you see that? Did you that see the shirt? Here, show the people the shirt. Here, there you go. Check, Check it out. that. Van Look at that sewer. sexiness. Hold on, let me suck it that's, in for a that's, second. That's the Brad Pitt version. Yeah. Pitt. I'm gonna faint van in a second. <laughs> so explain me, what's a van of sewer? A connoisseur of vans. Someone hey, who like knows. It. Someone who knows a lot about vans. That would really be you. I'm just pretending. <laughs> but you know, hey, if I make the money from selling the shirts. People always ask me, what's Hank's connection? I said, well, his connection is him and his wife came on the lot, they bought an RV from us. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's his connection. <laughs> yeah. So, so yes. So 
four by four overland luxury beast, right? Do you want to go inside first? Maybe we give the rain a chance to go while we do yeah, it inside, sure. and then we'll show the other stuff on the outside. So pretty cool. There yeah. again, back to the luxury part of the overland. Right. We have the power door power from Mercedes. Yeah. This is here so we don't slip. Yeah. Power door. You have your nice screen door. So this is a nice big screen. Oh, that's cool. Isn't yeah. that cool? It's like Sliding your screen door screen at home. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. Pretty neat. That's nice. I'm pretty sure I saw this van getting built. I bet you did. Yeah. So okay. I don't typically order. So every RV here, I've ordered it the way I like it. Uh -huh. um, I don't typically order black leather seats. That's nice though. But you know, when 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 I was talking to Ron about it, I said, you know, let's do something a little different in this one. Let's do the graphite walls. Let's do the black seats and let's do the black Denali cabinets. Yeah. And uh, and I was pretty excited to get this one in. I think it looks and, good. Very and, luxurious. And uh, needless to say, it sold a month before it got here. Yeah. But, but it's a nice contrast to the white color of it the It is. Bed. It is. Yeah. I thought it was sharp. I thought yeah. it was real sharp. It is. Yeah. You know, pretty nice. Going here. back to the luxury part of it, we have the power doors and heated or power seats and heated seats from Mercedes. Um, so very nice. And programmable. Programmable. So, you know what people do? This is pretty neat. This is like a, what they call those, the life hacks. Mm -hmm. So you figure out where you need this seat to be to swivel it very easily and you save that in memory number three. Oh, okay. So then, so whenever you want to swivel a seat, you're not in here adjusting and messing it with it. Automatically you just press through. memory number three and then yeah. you just swivel it. And it doesn't swivel for you, but yeah. very nice. So something you won't get in, in vans like this, unless it's from American Coach, I think, is like the finish that you see around this. That is so the wood treatment around that and the, the, custom, the, leather. Yeah, the custom leather treatment. They also really do it up that. top there. Yeah, it's up there. I mean, that's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, very, very yeah. luxurious. I don't even have that in my, uh, you know, in my R8, and a lot of people don't have it in their Mercedes. <laughs> That's a true statement. I wish I could drive a car like that <laughs> one day. Yeah. Okay, day. so uh, let me go in here first. Yeah, jump on So in. this model has two uh, passenger seats. So, so something that's here. great about the MD4 is you have you have the driver and okay. the passenger. Let's press the button. Which we can do. Let's close Ooh. the door. Oh, look at that. So something that's pretty cool about the MD4 is you have four real captain seats and seat belts in the front. Okay. So people love this, even if it's just two people traveling, mm -hmm. because the husband can be driving and the wife can be back here with her feet reclined, yeah. Yeah. watching TV. There's a 30-something inch TV back here yeah. that you can watch while you're hanging out. I, I guess I can find the remotes and turn it on. Yeah. Usually when I turn these on, Jerry Springer is on. It yeah. gives me a little yeah, We want to mute it. But yeah, that's... That's a nice big thing. Even if you have your kids with you when you're home, if you just want to have one vehicle, especially when you're spending uh, this level of money, which we'll talk about it towards the end. Yeah, um, so it's so nice. It's nice. Have you have extra seats. USB ports, 110 plugs, cup holders everywhere. You know, that is something really nice that that American coach does. Mm -hmm. They really make sure that this is a comfortable, you know, people use these as mobile offices. They use these as their family mobiles. Yeah. Take it around. You know, pretty neat here. Is yeah. there a is there a so this uh, here, the swivels? Okay. Both both of these can swivel around like that. Mm -hmm. Both of those seats swivel yeah. to face Let the back. To you can have you can have a little uh, dinette area in here. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of so. Food. Um, so here's the. I'll just give everyone a look at the cabin here. A very luxurious Mercedes style. And then um, what American Coach does is gives you that great wood finish around everything. All over the place. You have that uh, four camera system that Nick was talking about there. It's always on. Whether yeah. you're driving in frontwards, back, your blinker, yeah. whatever it is, that camera system is always on. And that's a great feature because the Mercedes camera is not always on. Mm -hmm. Typically, your backup camera is not always on. But in this, because it's a separate camera system, yeah. it's on no matter what you're is doing. Is it recording? Do you know? It is not. Okay, it's not it recording. Not. I'm but sure it, you can set it up. You can yeah. put a memory card something into it something yeah. into it yeah so you guys will have to find out about that but it is good to know what exactly is going on and i think you can get the massaging seat options i don't know, yep. i don't think you that comes with this one the, these do not have it but you yeah. can get massaging seats on these front four seats here as well mm -hmm. you know something pretty cool you know talk talking about luxury mm -hmm. when you have like a firefly in the front you got firefly right here right that here. controls everything yeah. uh -huh. you have the nice granite your nice your nice wood cabinetry so everything american coach does really is just ultra luxury yeah ultra jl audio speakers yeah, you, guys can see you that. know speakers everywhere in the there's coach. a cabinet here on this side nice big cabinet and, and you know something i like i mean this is all leather 
um, or they're you know pleather type insulated in here. It's mm -hmm. not just like some cheapo crappy wood in here. They mm -hmm. finish everything off. So yeah. so they they make sure even in the cabinets they're insulated. They're nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. The all of their hardware everything is is latching. So that latches. So even if something is in there and you're moving, it's yeah. not going to open. So and very. Ron very, told me that they went back to actual art hardware that stuck out, which I think is cool because you can hang stuff on it. That and so. the old hardware, you had to press a button and it popped out. That's yeah. something that breaks very easily. Oh, okay. So when you're pressing buttons and things are popping out yeah. and all that, that breaks. And then there's a latch also. Yeah. This. That's cool. Very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's cool. And so does this window, I know some of them are powered. This does have a window shade that comes down. This does have a shade. This one's not the powered version. This is not the powered version. But you could version. get that if you want it. You you, yeah. you could potentially get that if yeah. you want it. Yeah. Um, when you're configuring uh, one for me as a gift, you know, if yes. you can, if yes. that ever, I don't know if that comes if up. If we get to a million <laughs> subscribers by the end of this video being posted, Wait, I will give on. Hank <laughs> one of these as a gift. A million one subscribers million subscribers where? Where? on, on YouTube. On, on, on Sunshine State RV? On yours. Oh, on mine. <laughs> one million subscribers. If you hit the million mark by the end of the week, oh, <laughs> you get a van. You get a van. You get a van. I think those are very, very low odds of happening, but uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Okay. Yes. Well, the Milwaukee yeah. Bucks just won the championship. Those are pretty low yeah. odds, too. If but it happens, Nick, things dude, happen. Don't, don't things try happen. to hide from me. So very neat, you know, something that Airstream used to do or, or has always done that American Coach has kind of saw. You know, one thing I like about American Coach is they take things they see from a lot of other manufacturers and, and they try to put it all together. So I really like having this natural light in here. You know, some companies do full glass. Oh, um, can, American you, Coach is doing like these little portals yeah. up here. I, I think really, you can get a waterfall kind of. You can so so you, you can get a full glass door as an added option. Yeah, people like that as well. But yeah. I like a bigger guy like myself. I like a double door. So I like yeah. being able to open both doors. Right. Have them both open. Get in here, uh -huh. and then and then handle my business. Oh. Okay. So, I'm not sure what business that is in particular, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. Taking a shower. Uh-huh. Any type of business. Yes. Whatever, whatever, whatever needs business to be done. Whatever business I need to handle on yeah. the throne. So this one gives you, it's privacy, but light, but still some light coming in. Yes. On these. Which yes. Cool. Natural light. If there's no light coming in, you feel like you're like in a, the bat cave or something. Like, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. very claustrophobic, but having some of that natural light in there yeah. is great. You know, yeah. something else pretty neat. I know these are all minor details, but when you spend a lot of time That's in neat. a small RV, you appreciate things like a fan. Yeah, Max fan when, in the bathroom. When I was a kid, I shared a room with my brother and he called it a fart fan, but we're not going <laughs> to call it that on national TV here. Uh, yeah, that, this yeah. this is a, a fan Anyone to give you... Anyone who has a brother knows about that. Th this is a fan to give you fresh air. Okay. Um, pretty neat also, you know, I like how there's two separate water functions here. So, this is your shower, put it up here, and the water comes out right there, right? Yep. And then you, all, you still have this here. So this okay. is where you brush your teeth, you wash your hands, this is where you take a shower. Oh, cool. Sometimes they double, it's the same one that you're moving back and yeah. forth. Yeah. I like having two. Um, I think that, it, that it, it, it gives you that redundancy to where one, one is leaking or doesn't work right, you can just use the other one. I really like having two. Right. Uh, so, but that bottom one for the sink, it doesn't pull out, right? It does not, nope. It's just strictly for brushing your teeth, washing okay, your cool. hands, whatever you want to do. And this one's strictly for taking a and shower. And is there a switch? Oh, is the switch is on the head of the bottom yep. one. So you just turn that yeah. one on there, okay. and then you and just then turn that on there. there. Yep. Okay, cool. You also have a waterproof toilet paper holder. Nobody likes soggy toilet paper. Yeah. So, um, water. And, and I believe you can get like a bath mat in there too. You, you can't, can. yeah. So, so they have these teak bath mats. They told me they're having supply issues with them. Oh, okay. So, I did see them when I was there. They're really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Made out of teak. They're on there. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the last few we've gotten in, haven't had them. Yeah. Just, you know. This is what happens when I go to the factory, Nick. Nick I know. Like, really you want to act like you know more than me, Hank. <laughs> hey? I mean, what are we doing here? Do I need to start filming you? Yeah, someone right now is making a comment. Can you just let Nick tell us? <laughs> Um, you know, something else pretty neat that uh -huh. that American Coach has done recently is they go to these flat cabinets. Rather than having the cabinets kind of stick out like this, yeah. you know, sometimes they stick out. I really like how they recess them and put gives them you, flat. Gives you some hip room in here. You know, I mean, you notice you're in here, you feel like you're in the most luxurious class BRV there is. Yeah. You walk outside, you feel like you're in the Hummer of RVs, the, 
them, yeah. you know, like a like a true overland coach. A lot of companies offer one or the other. Yeah. So you have, you know, I'm not going to start naming all these companies, but all these yeah. companies offer an overland or they offer some type of off-road beast, yeah. but you walk in, you still feel like you're in an yeah. off-road beast. Yeah. And this, what I love it is uh, having the overland on the outside, the the crawler, and then walking into to a Rich Carlton. You know, yeah. walking into if, the. If I was truly a baller, you know, instead of like you know. One million, million subscribers, Hank. This um, can't be yours. So what's up with the fridge here? So so this is a uh, Nova Cool. This is a small fridge. Okay. Uh, it does have a freezer on top, right here. Right. Yep. Yep. There you go. That's and then you reasonable. Have That's reasonable. It it's is. Not, it's not a it full is. size, but what, you know, I don't know if you need it. This coach also comes in what they call an MD2. The MD4 has the four seats up front in the small fridge. The MD2 only has a driver and passenger seat, and it has a large 7.3 cubic foot fridge. Yeah. So that is a trade-off. You want more seats or you want a bigger fridge is typically the way yeah. People trade and that if off. If you don't uh, keep a lot of stuff, if you don't cook in here, you don't really need it. That is correct. Um, cooktop wise, I think what's the sink? It looks like the yep. sink is so here. So this is a sink here, right? Hot nice and cold right. water. Yes. And um, then here. And, and they make all this material. If you look at the how it's the factory tour video that we did, the way they make all this stuff. It's it, pretty neat. Yeah, it still stays light, but it looks great. It looks fantastic. Yep. So, so here's one burner. Yeah, uh, one electric. burner induction stove. Right. Um. What's nice about this is if you don't cook, mm -hmm. you never know you even have it. Right. I like to make yeah. ham and cheese sandwiches, uh -huh. and then when things get tight, peanut butter and jelly. Ham and um, cheese with caviar. Ham and cheese with a little honey mustard and some mayonnaise right. on both sides of the bread. Uh -huh. Very clear. Mayonnaise has to be on the top sure. and the bottom. Is little it artisanal bread? Is it artisanal ah, bread? I like some rye bread, uh -huh. some five multi grain, uh -huh. but. Peanut butter and jelly. I like strawberry jelly with crunchy peanut butter. Right. Um, but this is a great sandwich making station. I've made sandwiches right here, so yeah. this this is great. Yeah. Um, so cupboards. So you, like you said, there's a uh, so this sponge. right here is for the sink. Yep. That's the sponge. We got some drawers here. I'll open these to show you guys, so that no one will complain we didn't open them. And then you have more cabinetry right here. You do. Very so that's nice. for like spoons and forks nice dovetail and stuff. cabinetry. Yeah. Oh, this is the garbage. This is the garbage. So everybody yeah. asks, where do you put the garbage can? And I tell them, I don't know, but. Yeah. American coach. Not I everyone saw, gives you a garbage. Not everybody yeah. does. We were yeah. in a road trek last week and you asked me that question. There was no garbage. There was no garbage. <laughs> but American coach gives you a place. I mean, look at that. How genius is that, right? It's it's cool. Yeah, I like the fact that that holds it in. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. You're driving, it's not shaking everywhere. Yeah. Very nice. And they make these in house. This gets made at their factory. Dude, one of the things about American coach is all of this stuff gets made there. The leather, they have an upholstery shop. Mm -hmm. The all everything this wood they make all this stuff there in-house so very very neat you know yeah. something i really like is is the long window so really long window here really big window here that opens up completely so you slide that it opens all so this is your the vent way. and uh you have that on both sides yeah, both, you can go right yep. through that yep there go right go. through it um so that would be your vented window just yep. that and then on this side yep same thing over there side. um so you can open that all the way, and the ladder is on that side. The ladder, yeah, we haven't been outside. outside yet. Don't give away all the secrets yes. yet. We'll, we'll get to that. And there's a TV. All right, so this is a 24-inch LG Smart TV. Yeah. So you can watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, whatever whatever you fancy. Your entertainment. Um, it does come with an Apple TV built in as well, okay. um, along with a Wi-Fi router. So the Wi-Fi router is this black little box. And it actually might be in here. Let's see if we can show this off. Oh, is that in here? We yeah, I'll check here. this out. Um, this is some fun stuff. Let me get my. One day I didn't bring my light. I got Shame mine. Not having my light. So it is right there. Cradle point. Oh, cool. It's right there actually. Okay. Cradle point. There's directions right oh. there on it. Um, so AT and T and Verizon SIM cards you can put in there. You can have internet. You have your solar charge controller. Oh, sweet. So very nice, very easy to access easy it. Place and, Solar uh, charge what's on controller. There? What's so that is your control panel. Okay, to for tell like you what's in there. Fuses and all that so, stuff. So and that closes. And this does close. Yeah, I yeah. just opened it. So yeah. You can see. To show everyone, and then obviously yeah. you can hang your stuff up in here. You can. Which is cool. And then these seats underneath, you can store stuff, or you can have like a nice uh, thing for your pet here. So this uh, this is a lagoon table right. mount right here. So the lagoon table just kind of slides in there. 
and you can swivel it around, do everything with it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm happy to grab it and show it to you if you like. Okay, no, I think we know about lagoon tables. So is it just one on that side? You can put just, it just there? Yep, yep, just one right there. And you okay. can slide it under here when you're not using it. Oh, cool. When you want to use it, you can slide it and it can be right here for Right you. there, okay. There's also a, another Firefly yeah. set up right here. So you can control the bed, the, the lights, fan probably, tank heaters, internet, water pump. Yeah. This is a Fusion, this is also the stereo you uh -huh. can control, Bluetooth okay. it. Nice. Have, you can control the AC right here. I mean, the, the AC is so quiet, you can't even tell yeah, it's Yeah, it's on full blast right it's now. Full I'm blast. sure people can hear it when I'm under it, but yeah, it's not bad. No, it is great. 12 yeah. volt air conditioning. It's all part of that Eco Freedom package. Right. Um, the Eco Freedom package has a lot that it offers. So mm -hmm. um, it offers 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. Uh, some of the best batteries in the business. We love them. We have never had to replace one of these batteries in the last probably four or five years. What company years. Do, the, do these lithium uh, batteries come So from? they're made by, by Dragonfly Battleborn, same company, okay. Oh, okay. But, but they're Battleborn batteries. Um, 600 amp hours. You have a 3000 watt Victron inverter. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the um, underhood generator, which, which is generating the power to charge everything up. You mm -hmm. have 300 watts of solar on the roof. Um, and then and then there is a BMS system that kind of maintains all of that for you. Truthfully, you don't have to do anything. When It's not like you have to go press all these buttons and program all this stuff. You turn the batteries on and you got power. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you turn the batteries off. I don't know, it's just amazing how yeah. easy it is wow. to work the whole lithium system. Yeah. And then something that gives you a lot more juice for your lithium is a 12 volt air conditioner. So while you're driving down the road, that's just working on your 12 volt system. It's not actually draining your lithium batteries at all. Um, and then when you do stop, a 12 volt air conditioner gives you about 20% more capacity with your for your lithium battery. So all night long, very easily, you can run a CPAP machine, you can run your fridge, you can mm -hmm. run your outside cameras and your air conditioner all night long. So you yeah, go to without sleep. Without having any extra batteries. Nothing, without, without being plugged in, extra on. batteries, without yeah. doing anything, you can do that. So that kind of gives you more freedom when you're wanting to to boondock when you want when you can't find a campsite reservation which is happening a lot right now people can't find oh, reservations yeah. Absolutely. so they're having to boondock so they're like i had a guy just last week they're here right now actually they had a galleria that they bought from us without or not from us they bought somewhere else without lithium they tried to go find a campsite they couldn't find one and then they said you know what we want a boondock they had a generator the generator is running all night making all this noise doing all this stuff yeah. They came in on Monday morning and traded in for a lithium. Oh, they did. Oh yeah, they oh. they said, you know what, we we love the RV, but we gotta have the lithium I think, model. Uh, so just as a quick note to everyone, I think lithium is the way to go. Yes. <laughs> I think we've talked about this before. Lithium is great. Yeah, I think it is cool having a generator. Um, there's certain circumstances if you're out somewhere really remote yeah. and you don't care about the neighbors and you do need the power, great. Yeah. But I think most people are going to find, like you're saying, lithium is the most useful lithium to them, Lithium is right? very easy. It, yeah. Very easy. It is more expensive, so, you yeah. know, I'm... I'm you got to trade. It's a trade-off. There is definitely a trade-off. And, you know, some people want to want to really experience the United States. Everyone experiences it differently. You know, some mm -hmm. people, they want to go from hotel to hotel, to campground to hotel, to cousin's mm -hmm. house, to kid's house. Yeah, I don't know if lithium is necessarily mm -hmm. mandatory in that situation, right. but for people who want to go, you know, to, to Zion National Park and they want to go to Moab and they want to go to, you know, they want to go see Mount Rushmore and they want to go do all these, you know, really, really cool things that United States has to offer. I mean, it's a beautiful country. Yeah, and you, you know, don't want to make big plans. <laughs> right. Lithium is great. Yeah, you're lithium, gonna need that. lithium is great. Yeah. Um, so, okay, let's see what we have in here. Is there any storage or anything under so the seat? So, this lifts up and there there okay, is not like storage. A, There's okay, a, this is a water tank stuff. Water tank under and, there. Okay. And all Maybe that. this one? I don't know if this one does lift so up. So, this or also not. lifts up. This is your board right here. That you, oh, to connect everything. To connect everything to make oh, cool. one big bed. So, you take okay. this. You put that down like oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can go. Are you gonna do the? Uh, are you gonna do the money shot here with the seat with the uh, with the things? I'm happy. Come to. on. Thank Give you. us a nice pose here. I gotta get up here. This is what the people came to see, Nick. So you press a button. The bed folds flat. I wish it was a little faster. I feel a little awkward right now. Right. <laughs> you can sleep. I'm six look foot good, tall. Two hundred. Last time you made me do this. 228 pounds. There you go. Lean, mean, fight. He's a big boy. 
plenty. Yeah, got lots of room in back here. Plenty, so plenty. Run. I mean, my arms are fully <laughs> extended here. Yeah. I can do my uh, yeah. my core exercises yeah. in here. This is like the fit RV here. Yeah. No. No, that's good. That's great. Yeah, lots of room. So, I, that, couple I, options. This is one thing. You have one big king size bed. What typically people like is this. So now. Yeah, you can walk sleeping, in. And then I can just drop my feet. Yeah. And I can get right up and I can leave. Yeah. So, you know, depends on how you like to sleep. This is nice. It's like U shape here. But if you want the full bed, it takes two seconds to set the full bed. It really yeah. does. So and then when you're done, yeah, press, you press the button there. And you can also do this from your phone, by the way. I haven't, right. I haven't really talked a lot about that. So, so this Firefly has the capability of being an app on your phone. So you so press all the those controls you can do on your every phone. Every control, the bed. air conditioner, okay. lights, bed, tank heaters, Wi-Fi, yeah. everything can be done from your phone. So cool. Very, very easy. Yeah. Very so easy. for storage, what do we have back here? There are cup holders on that cup side. Cup holders, USB ports, USB yeah. ports, cup holders. Um, so you have storage under here. Under here. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, so this, this isn't one of the models that has like a big garage. We'll go, we'll go in the back and we'll show you guys uh, what's going on there. But there is storage underneath there for like big luggage. There is. Um, and then there's storage here. This is probably, yeah, look That's at how big, big that is right yeah. there. That's pretty cavernous. Um, and then you got one here. Hey, that's a college word. Huh? Cavernous? That's, that's pretty good. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you know, I mean, a word a day. A word a day, man. You know, if I'm, if I'm doing these videos with you, hanging out with you, <laughs> like you asked me, what does uh, in mean? You know, like uh, invaluable. <laughs> Invi under, yeah. Invaluable. Uh, it, it means you can't take it out. <laughs> Very <laughs> valuable. I don't know, yeah. Very so this is a nice uh, long cabinet right here. On this side. So hey, you've been in this one for about 20 minutes now. How do you feel about this black leather? You like it? Oh, I love it, man. Yeah. I think this looks good in here. The, yeah. We we don't we, we don't get a lot of RVs in. So a lot of the cruisers come in with black leather. Yeah. We don't. I don't order a lot of the RVs with black leather. I'm this, curious. Comment down below and let me how, yeah. let me know how you feel because I like to do a little market research. Yeah. Let me how you feel about the black leather? Oh, look at this. Let's get comfortable. Let's get comfortable. Look at that. Oh, put my, there you go. Okay, so um, can I tell you something? Yeah. So you're right, the cruisers do more have this, right? Yep. But what I think about this and being in it, I would rather have this because it feels more luxurious. It does. And more comfortable and, and like, and kind of like a cave in here, being darker. Um, but I know people like the light colors inside light a lot. Uh, because it makes it feel more open. Yeah. So but I feel more relaxed in this than I do in those. So nice. I don't know. Is that American Coach has an yeah. ash wood, which is a real light blonde wood. I saw that. They yeah. also have a walnut burl, which yeah. is like a dark, deep brown. And then, and then what I really like that we're not talking about is like they have. So if you look at this finish here with the light. This is kind of like a matte finish, it not is. shiny. Um, and then they have the shiny one, but I really, I think that's why I like this. I this really is not like, the shiny one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, so I like this matte finish. This is how I order 90% of our coaches. Yeah. It's, they call it a satin finish. Satin, right. Um, I yeah. like that. That that high gloss is nice. Kind of reminds me of like um, 1990s private jets. Yeah. With the, you know. Yeah. All that. Stuff this is a lot that. more comfortable this and is, like laid back yep. kind of a yep. feel. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Okay. Cool. So let's. Uh, what else in here? What else are we missing in here? Lots of power points right here. Uh, the, I mean, What's up with these things? What are these here for? That uh, that is so you can uh, take a picture of Nick and Hank together. And you can just kind of tape it right there to remind everybody oh. why you know why they bought this RV. Oh, okay. We'll be selling right. those pictures <laughs> on the next video. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, look, check out the door. Even the door has this finish in it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how to sell. Like, so one of the things. Look at the. Here's the Max fan. It has this wood finish around it. it does. Everything has that. I know. Whenever we make these videos, Nick, people always complain that these are more expensive. I, I really would say that you're getting your money for these. So you know, if if you're gonna keep switching out of other vans and not get this, like I have a, another van, I'm completely happy with. Oh yeah. But I mean, this this is worth the money for all the work they do. Yeah. So you know, being the the luxury, the four by four, you know, American Coach adds the. Ex the extra insulation in the whole coach, or it's like R16 or something. They do the cozy wrap. 
in the ceiling of the front of the coach. Mm -hmm. You know, they go through and they do the sumo springs on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. They're they're really really upgrading this this Mercedes chassis. Mm -hmm. You know, not only is Mercedes top of line, but American Coach is top of line yeah. as well. So it is going to be a little pricier than some of the other ones. But like you said, people that buy it. Their comment is always, man, this thing is just sweet. It, it is the way it looks, the, the fit, the yeah. finish. You know, they're not all perfect, and, and it's something different for everybody. You yeah. know, everybody has, you know, people ask me all the time, what's 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 the best RV? What's the perfect RV? And it all depends on how you're going to use it, what, you know, kind of how much money you want to spend, how often you're going to use it. This works or so, and th this is a great RV. Yeah, you're going to have to look at a bunch of these to find out what's the yes. best one for yes. you. And you probably are going to have to get one that's not the one for you. <laughs> Sometimes. And find that out, and then, yeah, it's just a thing. So I think I got really lucky with my van that I have because I'm happy with it. So yours is great. But I'm glad that we're spending so much time looking at stuff because ultimately, you know, I, I understand exactly what I want now. Yeah, so, no, so, um, so I get the pleasure of using whatever van that I, yeah. I want here, but yeah. picking one would be tough for me. Let's say you have a friend, like, you know, some random black guy with a mohawk. <laughs> Looks like Brad Pitt, kind of? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brad Pitt-ish looking Ish, guy, yeah. you know. Can 40s he, Brad Pitt, yeah. not, not 50s Brad Pitt. No, no. Can that, well, I mean, 50s Brad Pitt is all, it's still <laughs> sexy. Um, <laughs> can that guy also drive whatever van he wants over whatever here? Whatever van he wants, he's allowed to drive around the dealership here. Oh. I mean, you can, you can put it here, there, anywhere you would like on our property, Hank. <laughs> you know, any black guy with a mohawk yeah. is welcome to... Okay. To the, <laughs> That's not exactly what I'm asking. Oh, my bad. Hey, let's look at the outside of the RV. How's yeah, that sound, Hank? Yeah, let's do that because I am not getting my way today. All right, come on, open up. There you go. And is it still pouring out here? No. If you guys can't see this, just the scope of this thing, look at this beast. That, I mean, this is really like a beautiful beast right here. Let's uh, let's do what we were gonna do on the, the outside stuff. Yeah, so show the camera. we already touched on the tires and wheels. We touched on the on the security here. Yeah. Something else that's pretty cool is American Coach upgrades. They give you this nice spoiler. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, uh, it, it, it just kind of finishes off that, yeah. finishes off that luxury look. This does have parking sensors as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, something pretty neat are these LED lights. These are oh, very intelligent yeah. LED lights. So You're this, not getting this on other vans right now. So, so this is the deal, though. With with the RV market where it is, all these manufacturers from Coachman to Road Trek to Winnebago to American Coach, they're desperate for chassis. So a chassis is just a raw cargo van like this. They're desperate. So they'll take anything Mercedes or Ford gives them within reason. So not all of them have these nice LED, LED headlights. Lights. Not all of them have the power door. Not all of them have the power seats. But the, the ones that do are great. The ones that don't, you still get the experience of the RV. It's just missing a few things. But this particular one has all of that, which is, yeah. which is American a, Coach does a good job of hooking yeah. me up. And where the Sprinters win is they look the best. I mean, they're sharp. You know, look at that. Look at the whole badge and the look of it. Um, and then, like you said, lots of tech up here too, right? Yes. So those lights, as you're turning, they they turn on, they fade. I mean, you know all about the headlight thing. Yeah. Right? There's 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 so much cool stuff that that these headlights are very active LED headlights, very very intelligent. Yeah. So as as we keep coming through here, you can see one thing that I love about American Coach. And I say this every time: how sleek the side is. So there's no weird things on the side that makes it look like an RV. Mm -hmm. This looks like a like a, a van or something. I mean, this is kind of a little different, but it has yeah. a big roof rack. But they put everything in this nice Yeah, metal. I think a lot of people do like the, this, uh, myself included, right? It does give you a little bit of a stealth look. Someone has to look a little bit closer. That's, there we go. There you go. So pretty neat. You have your outdoor shower here, hot and cold water. You can wash your feet, you can wash your dog, wash your dog's feet. You have a black and gray flush here. Typically only big class A's have these flushes, but American Coach, since what they make are big class A's, they always put these flushes in here. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. So, so this is your macerator hose. So whatever's in your black tank, you'll pull this out and you'll put it into the ground, into your, your uh, uh, sewer. Dump station. The dump station, sorry. Right. You turn it, you press the button, and it pumps the waste yeah. out, right? Um, but yeah, that's also, that's like a big plus. Um, not everyone has that. That is correct. Yeah. So, so you do this, you pump it out. Then once you're done, there's a button here. 
that retracts it, pulls it all the way back in. All the way yeah. back in. Especially when you're older. How sweet is that? You you will enjoy that. That is sweet. I mean, sweet. I think you'll enjoy it if you're younger, but yeah. I mean, so you get older. there is a cable outlet here, so you can watch cable TV. Most like KOAs and campgrounds yeah. have a cable outlet. Yeah. Um. So so very neat. But this thing here, just kind of throw it in there somehow, twist it, lock it, good to go. Oh, okay. Pretty neat, right? Yes, that is actually pretty cool. Um, so these are dualies on the back here. Dually still so black. So 4x4 dually is four what this is. Dually. That is cool. Yeah, and those are great looking wheels. You know, I talked to a customer the other day that bought a 4x4 Galleria from us. Mm -hmm. and, and I asked them, I always ask people, especially, have you ever used your 4x4? Mm -hmm. And the husband and wife looked at each other and kind of <laughs> yeah. kind of giggled and looked back at me. He's like, yeah, one time. I said, tell me about it. What happened? They said that they were they were trying to get like the perfect picture on the side of a beach and they went a little too much into the soft sand oh. and got stuck and so and so they were very happy they said we we're very happy that you convinced us to get the four by four i'm like i didn't convince you but yes they were very happy they got the four by four not everyone's going to use it go. yeah. but if if it's available and you can afford it i would definitely recommend it yeah four by four is the way to go especially if you're if you know you're going to go off road okay so someone's going to climb up there i don't know paper rock scissors uh i'll go up there okay. i'll go up there here we go all right let's do this come on hey oh this is a big beefy one i hope it is my friend <laughs> i know that sounds weird so that fan here is what's making that noise that everyone can hear there's a there's a fan a fan AC, that's the AC. Yeah, the AC fan. So here we go. So uh, roof rack. There's uh, two solar panels up here. Um, actually, three. Three solar panels. And this roof rack. Place to store stuff. Um, I'm going to come down. Pass it back to Nick. Where'd you go? The guys were listening to the music. I had to turn it down. Oh, oh okay. There we go. This, this right here is a big upgrade that people may not realize. So not everyone comes with a big uh, roof rack, right? No, it's about a $10,000 upgrade. Yeah. Um, and so when you get this, I noticed that um, the awning is connected to the roof rack. Yep. You don't have the uh, flexible solar panels. You have more heavy duty solar panels up there. Yep. And there's three of them. That's true, three yeah. So, I mean, this right here is worth a lot of it, especially if you're going off road and stuff, because you got you have a lot of extra storage. You know, something you can do cool. Things. I saw someone the other day. Yeah, I'll take over. I like how Hank does. He puts his finger okay. in the video. Yeah. On this ladder right there, uh -huh. I saw somebody hook their kayak to it. Yes. So they, they took their kayak, put it real big, right? Tied, <laughs> strap it around, and hook their kayak. I was like, oh, that's like I, I've a great, that too. That's like a great use of space, right? Yeah. Bicycles. <laughs> You know, yeah. I was thinking about something as I was looking at this eco freedom here. Mm -hmm. You know, I, one of the big things I forgot to mention when we were in the RV is eco freedom means no propane. So okay. there's nothing in this coach that runs on propane. Everything runs on the battery power, which is great. Because so where does the heat come from? So the heat is an electric heater. Oh, okay. The the hot water heater. So it is it, actually a diesel S bar hot water heater. Oh. So they uh, it uses your diesel fuel to heat the water. Okay. So everything's electric. There's no propane in this coach. So you never have to stop somewhere to get propane. You're never like, crap, I'm going to run out of propane. You got to figure, there's, there's no propane. You don't have to worry about propane. There's anymore. no fears of propane. You can go on every bridge in New York City, every tunnel oh, cool. all over the country and not have to worry about propane. So yeah. that gives you what they call That's eco, what the eco freedom. Means. Eco freedom. Yep. Interesting. Where, where you don't need anything else. Very cool. Okay. This here, this is where you hook up your 30 amp service. Okay. So pretty neat. This nice is the only thing out. on the coach that is kind of outside of. And what's metal. this exhaust here? So that's that's the diesel S bar. That's the S bar exhaust. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Um, and then let's see what do we what do we have? I don't know what we can see under there. If there's anything to see, are those oh those are the batteries. Those are the batteries. Oh look at that. So it's pretty nice. Those batteries have like a five year warranty on. Yeah, I love the clearance under this vehicle. It's great, isn't it? What? Look at this clearance. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Towing package, 5,000 pounds of towing mm -hmm. capacity. Okay. That's nice. So, okay. You could tow, you could tow, uh, yeah, a nice uh, car or something like that, lightweight. Yep. A trailer with motorcycles in it, four wheelers, yeah. Polaris. Nice. Like five, 
I mean, you can, 5,000 pounds, you can tow almost anything you want. Yeah. Um, so here's the room that we were talking about in the back yeah, of it. So lots of storage. These are the shades, so you would store these somewhere else. Right. But right now, we put them here. Here's your 30 amp cord. The shades. Okay. You would store that somewhere else as well. But yeah, nice pass-through storage yeah, you here. Could, you so could say put you probably... had a, a small kayak or canoe or yeah. some fishing poles or whatever. You just slide those bad boys right in there. Yeah. Um, What's nice, there's also a 110 plug back here. Oh, there so right is? here. Okay. Yeah, I see it. There's a plug, so if you're out back and you need to plug something in, yeah. you can just you know plug it in and you can charge things, whatever you like. Yeah. Uh, what's the what are these panels right here? These, these are, are like fuse boxes and oh okay okay things. we don't need to go in there so those are fuses fuses um, and then I think these are for hanging stuff yep hanging clothes some people yeah. use them to help them get up guys my weight cannot do that right but yeah. um, so one of the big things in the back are these doors I think I've told you this before this is all like paneled in. So you get better insulation back here, and then you have the uh, the shade, shade built yep, in. Yep. So the that's shade the can be covered, or you open up so you can drive. You can see yeah. more. It does have a screen back here as well. Yeah. So so this screen can go all the way down, or yeah, all the way up. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. That's it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. I really enjoy this. What's that dish back there? So that is the TV antenna for the TV. Okay. So both TVs have the option of Apple TV. They have the option of the the local the high definition antenna. So right here, yeah. we usually pick up about ten to twelve channels. Okay. Um, you also have the option of the cable from the outside there oh, that okay. I showed you earlier. That yes, windlet. right. Okay. Um, you also have have the option of of live streaming from your phone directly to your TV, which, which is pretty nice. So there's a lot of different options of watching TV that uh, that you have with these two TVs here. Yeah, and if you guys notice, there's two cameras. If I can zoom in up here, there's two cameras right there. Um, so one here, yeah, and one there. So one of those is the regular backup, probably that's the that top one. one, and then the other one is that camera that's always yep. on, which is great to have um, on something like this. Like you said, if you're towing and yeah. doing all that kind of stuff, that looks great. Um, yeah. So and then you could, if you wanted to, get stuff to go back here, right? You yeah, just have yeah. to. Yeah, no, to get it for a sprinter. Yep, they make uh, Al makes some. Um, yeah, Al um, What's another one? Uh, uh, Illuminous makes. Illuminous stuff. makes a really cool one yeah. that you can mount to the back. Yeah. You can put it on the tow hitch. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of really cool ones that you yeah. can make. If you need extra storage back here, like yep. you want to put a big box or yep. something like that, you can definitely. So pretty cool here. So the awning, like Hank mentioned, mm -hmm. is up there. It is a power awning. I'm happy to go open it for you if you like. Yes. Okay. And then pretty cool, there's a 110 plug right here as well. Yeah. So so you open the awning and you want to plug in a little electric grill, you want to plug in a speaker for some music, whatever you like, you have to plug this. Let me open this awning. Okay. Everything in there. I'm going to back up so you guys can get a good look at this. I mean, just to see how big this is. It's awesome. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, like I said, is attached to your um, to your roof rack, and yeah. a lot of people do that upgrade when they do the roof rack. There's a nice uh, image under here for everyone to look at, which I always wind up looking up. There's LED lights, as you guys can see, on here. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's see, oh, make this close me out. Okay, can't even see through this. That's how. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's go, let's wrap this up now. Okay. And uh, talk to the folks. What are we looking at here? So something like this. What are we looking at? So this unit is sold. We uh, we do have a lot of them on order, so we're mm. always getting them in. You know, for American Coach, we're their number one dealer in the nation. So so we're getting a lot more American Coaches in than anybody else in the country. Okay. Um, you know, something pretty cool buying from us here in Gainesville. Free delivery anywhere in the U.S. Yeah. No matter where you live, we deliver it right to your front door. You never have to come here if you don't want. You can place an order for something like this, any type of combination. If you don't like the black leather seats, we can get you any color you want. Um, I think MSRP on this one was like 230, 240-ish, and we sold it for under 200, you know, high 190, something like that. Okay. So, so they're they're definitely not cheap, but they're worth it. High quality, 
But you know, buying from us, we have our Sunshine Elite Club. We guarantee you a service appointment within five days of you calling. We, you know, pick up your RV if you're within a hundred or so miles of us. Valet service. You know, I mean, you are like family to us when you buy an RV from us. So there's a reason why this small dealership is the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States of America because of our customer service and guys like Hank who help promote us and talk about us. And right. So one RVs. question I would ask here for like a person who's seriously looking at buying these, yeah. a lot of people th talk about like Mercedes versus let's say Ford, right? Yeah. Like I find, I have a Ford, I find it's a lot easier to uh, find a place to service it. Yeah. I know American Coach is, they, they do. you don't have any Fords from them yet. No, so we're getting them in the next week yeah. or two. You're going to get the first one. Um, but I was asking Ron about it uh, behind the scenes, and he was saying, look, since these are getting assembled in America, mm -hmm. right, that the service and stuff like that's gotten better, what are you yeah. hearing from the folks who buy these? Because I know that's a big thing. It is, people yeah. People are going to so, worry about. So there are definitely more Ford dealerships in the country than Mercedes dealerships. Mm -hmm. So if you have an issue, you go to any Ford dealership, there's not as many Mercedes. So it is something to, that kind of weighs out your decision. You know, if you're wanting to travel through South Dakota, and I don't even know if there is a Mercedes dealership in South Dakota. So that would be a thing. Um, Mercedes does have an 800 number. It, as long as it's under warranty, they will tow you to the closest Mercedes dealership for a repair. So okay. if you call them, they will. if it's a repair, they yeah. will tow you to the closest Mercedes dealership. Mm -hmm. So there are things, Mercedes realizes it. Um, you know, Mercedes says they're the most reliable uh, on the market, so they don't need as many repair right. facilities. Okay. They do have, I have seen pretty neat, these mobile sprinter vans that are, are repair vehicles that will drive all over the country fixing these as well. And that's done under warranty through Mercedes too. So it is a valid concern, Hank. Um, but it is something that, you know, depends on how you're going to travel and what you're going to use it for. Yeah, I think that's really good. Uh, coming from Nick, and, and obviously you deal with folks who buy these. Every day. Yeah, make sure, you, make sure you do your research. Yeah. You know, and one thing I do know, like I've spoken to people, Mercedes has like limp modes if it they really do. gets that they bad. Do. There's lots of things that allow you to do what you need to do. And, um, and, and for, like we're talking about this being an overlanding thing. Yeah. Um, this is what a lot of guys go to. They go to the Sprinter van. They do. Now, everyone doesn't get to roll in this kind of luxury. <laughs> this is the 24 foot one. They also do the yeah. uh, tw the 19 foot. Right. That's the 144 chassis. This is the 170 extended. So this is a 24 yeah. foot class B. Yeah, at some point in my life, I'm gonna step up to the Mercedes thing. I'm good. Working on it, working on it. All right, listen, thanks a lot. I Hank, think we've thank been you. very thorough here. Try. Um, if folks have questions, Get yeah, in touch with Nick. my name's Nick. Feel free to call here and ask yeah. me. You can comment below and ask, you know ask Hank the questions. Every time yeah. he comes in here, he has a long list of questions. Right. <laughs> that he wants me to answer. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I need to take a, a sprinter for a test drive. Sounds good. Yeah, I think I need to like borrow it for a weekend or something. Or something. I'm not gonna go that far. Texas, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, listen. All right. Thank Thanks you so again. much. Yes. Um, yeah, please do check out Sunshine State RV. They have a YouTube channel which will, like shows a lot of what's in the inventory yep. Yep. as well as they actually have a lot of vans we here. Have actual Mercedes Sprinter vans here, American Coach, Gallerias. Yeah. Winnebago's, road right. tracks. You've got some used stuff here. as well, even though we're not showing stuff. that. Yeah, they've here. got some used stuff if you guys are looking All for Class B. Deal. Like I said, number yeah. one in the state of Florida, number three in the country from Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. Who would ever thought that? Yeah, and I think you're still, there's like, is there a couple of weeks left on your offer? There is, August 15th. In? Yep, yep, we're gonna. Yeah. So we have a Coachman Beyond here and a Coachman Nova that we're guaranteeing to be here at our dealership through the middle of August. So. We are guaranteeing, you know, and people every every day, Hank, somebody mm -hmm. comes in to drive the Beyond and the Nova. Right, nice. Every day, people are coming. No one's taking <laughs> yeah. me up on my Disney offer yet. Oh, if you come here, it. you come drive on. it, you're a listener, Hank, and you <laughs> yeah. order one, I will send you and your family to Disney. And Hank. And Hank. No one's taking me up on that offer yet, but people have come in and ordered. We ordered one today. Somebody ordered a Nova today. Come so, on, just do the Disney thing so I could go. Hank wants to go to Disney. Yeah. All right, Nick. All right. Thanks Thank a lot, you, guys. Sir. All right. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. We appreciate everyone. Yes. We're over 6,000 uh, subscribers. That's awesome. Get to yeah. a million. This man's yeah, a million. This million is the next. We're out of here. Peace.